It's 10 trivia questions on Baltimore for Patreon subscriber Chris Arneson. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show and putting my voice in your ears today. Maybe you're on a road trip battling in some trivia quizzes. Maybe you're on the treadmill. Maybe you're walking the dog. Whatever you're doing, I'm glad you're listening. Hit subscribe so you never miss a new episode. New episodes usually come out Monday through Friday, but I am about five days behind. So I'm recording eight podcasts today to catch up on last week and this week. So if you're looking for a bunch of new quizzes and topics, this is the day for you. Those will all go out today. Today's topic is Baltimore. All things Baltimore for Chris Arneson, who is a Patreon subscriber. Thank you, Chris, for requesting such a fun, unique topic that we've never done on the show before. If you want to be like Chris, go to patreon.com slash triviawithbuds and sign up for the $5 tier. And you can pick a topic that I will record just for you every single month on this big spreadsheet. We've got so many great topics coming from other patrons like Brandon Lavin, who wants comic book couples very soon. Dean Bratton, who wants news and politics trivia. Donald Fuller wants The Masked Singer. And Aaron Burgess wants 90s TV shows. So lots of fun topics coming your way very soon. Before we dive into the quiz on Baltimore, here is a categories challenge. The letter is B, and your three categories for the letter B are items in a catalog, things you do at work, and vacation spots. They all have to start with the letter B. If you're playing along, writing those things down or yelling them out loud. Items in a catalog, things you do at work, vacation spots. All right, if you want to listen to me, try and answer those three challenges at the end of the episode. Stay tuned for the very, very end after we give out the answers to the Baltimore quiz. Speaking of Baltimore, it's time to jump into those 10 or 11 questions on Baltimore right now. Here we go. It's Baltimore trivia question number one. What prestigious medical school is located in Baltimore, known for a widespread system for classifying viruses? Number one, what prestigious medical school is located in Baltimore, known for a widespread system for classifying viruses? Question number two, from 1953 to 1984, Baltimore was the original home of what current AFC football team? Number two, from 1953 to 1984, Baltimore was the original home of what current AFC football team? Number three, West Baltimore's McCullough Homes is a housing project that was used as a filming site for scenes with the Barksdale crew on what acclaimed HBO series. Number three, West Baltimore's McCullough Homes is a housing project that was used as a filming site for scenes with the Barksdale crew on what acclaimed HBO series. Question number four, Baltimore. Growing up in Baltimore, who eventually would go on to hit the big time with the song Minnie the Moocher in 1931, famously done in the movie The Blues Brothers. Number four, growing up in Baltimore, who eventually would go on to hit the big time with the song Minnie the Moocher in 1931, famously done in The Blues Brothers. Question number five, built in 1830, what railroad, which shares its name with another state from the Midwest, is the oldest railroad in the U.S.? Number five, built in 1830, what railroad, which shares its name with another state from the Midwest, is the oldest railroad in the U.S.? Question number six, which team did the Baltimore Orioles sweep in the MLB playoffs back in 2014? Number six, which team did the Baltimore Orioles sweep in the MLB playoffs back in 2014? Number seven, what famous Olympian was born in Baltimore on June 30th, 1985? Number seven, what famous Olympian was born in Baltimore June 30th, 1985? Question number eight, which French artist houses more than 1,200 of his works at the Baltimore Museum of Art? Number eight, which French artist houses more than 1,200 of his works at the Baltimore Museum of Art? Question number nine, who spent time volunteering in the war effort in Baltimore before penning the Star-Spangled Banner? 
Number nine, who spent time volunteering in the war effort in Baltimore before penning the Star Spangled Banner? Question number 10, known for his dark writing style, such as Nevermore, who once lived in Baltimore from 1832 to 1835. Known for his dark writing styles and that keyword Nevermore, who once lived in Baltimore from 1832-1835. And your final question here, the bonus question for Baltimore. One of the first people inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, Babe Ruth, was born in Baltimore on February 6, 1895. Babe held the home run record for 34 years. Name the two players who have more home runs than Babe Ruth. Who are the two players that have more home runs than Babe? Those are all your questions for today's quiz on Baltimore. We'll be right back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to Baltimore Trivia. Let's see what you got right and wrong. Question number one, what prestigious medical school is located in Baltimore known for a widespread system for classifying viruses? That's John Hopkins University, John Hopkins University. Number two, from 1953 to 1984, Baltimore was the original home of what current AFC football team? The Indianapolis Colts, Indianapolis Colts. Number three, West Baltimore's McCullough Homes is a housing project used on the HBO series, The Wire, The Wire. Never saw that, I know it's acclaimed, I should go back and watch it. Number four, growing up in Baltimore, who eventually would go on to hit the big time with Minnie the Moocher in 1931? That was Cab Calloway. Cab Calloway. Number five, built in 1830, what railroad, which shares its name with another state from the Midwest, is the oldest railroad in the United States? That is the B&O Railroad, Baltimore and Ohio, just like from Monopoly. Number six, which team did the Baltimore Orioles sweep in the MLB playoffs back in 2014? That was the Detroit Tigers. Poor Tigers. Number seven, what famous Olympian was born in Baltimore, June 30th, 1985? Michael Phelps, amazing world-class swimmer. Number eight, which French artist houses more than 1,200 of his works at the Baltimore Museum of Art? That is Henry Matisse, Henry Matisse. Number nine, who spent time volunteering in the war effort in Baltimore before penning the Star-Spangled Banner? That is Francis Scott Key, FSK. Number 10, known for his dark writing styles, who lived in Baltimore 1832 to 1835? That is Edgar Allan Poe, author of The Raven and The Pit and the Pendulum and so many other creepy things. And the other two players in the Baseball Hall of Fame that have more home runs than Babe Ruth are Hank Aaron and Barry Bonds. Hank Aaron and Barry Bonds. There you have it, a fun quiz for Chris Arneson today on the podcast. Thank you, Chris, for being a Patreon subscriber. Your fact of the day is Trevi Fountain in Rome makes about $1.7 million per year in coinage. That's a lot of money throwing wishes into that fountain in Rome. And here is uh, my best attempt at trying to do the letter B with these three things. We have items in a catalog. How about boots? You want to get some new Ugg boots, you go to the catalog, maybe, if you're <laughs> not used to uh, shopping online. Uh, number two, things you do at work, you uh, uh, break dance if you're a break dancer, if that's what you do for a living. You break dance. And vacation spots, uh, Bermuda. Somebody just wrote me from Bermuda uh, that listens to the show, so we'll shout out Bermuda. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend, and we'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers.